Hey nerds, Bevan here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about comic books and uh, more specifically characters whose books I want to get into but just haven't pulled the trigger on yet. Now when I read comic books I kind of stick to like my three main areas. So I got Spider-Man and surrounding Spider-Man which in this case is usually just Spider-Gwen, uh, X-Men and offshoots from uh, and like solo titles from that series and then Batman and the Batman family. Um, but going forward I do want to get into more characters from the DC as a whole and Marvel as a whole and here are just a few of the characters that I really want to get into. Number one is Wonder Woman. Ever since Batman vs Superman came out I have been obsessed with this character. Uh, I've been online doing research, I've been uh, watch the animated movies, uh, you know, watch the uh, the live action movie. I just love the idea of of this character and the mythology surrounding it, and all the background, all the ancient Greek and Roman and the god stuff, stuff like that. I'm really into just in my usual non comic book life. Uh, so that would be the reason I want to get into Wonder Woman going forward. Along those same lines is Black Panther. And you know, you take this Marvel character who is an Avenger, who does stuff with the Avengers in like the world as a whole, when you break it down to his solo title, he's in Africa, he's in Wakanda, he's a king more than an Avenger. Uh, so he's just doing some really cool stuff there. And I wanna see, um, I wanna get into this book because it's a character that I'm kind of familiar with from the movies, but it's a character within the Marvel Universe in a different mythology, in a different setting, the book looks different than your typical New York superhero. And that's why I won't get into Black Panther. Now Wonder Woman and Black Panther, I was really first introduced to in movies. I'm Black Panther more than Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's kind of been around uh, on the peripherals of my life since, uh, since the 90s with cartoons and such. Um, but Supergirl, I, I found through TV. Now I really like the character portrayed by Melissa Benoit. Uh, in this TV show. However, I don't like the show itself. It's too formulaic. Every episode feels the same. So I wasn't really able to get into the show as much as I wanted to, but I still really like the character and the fact that, um, and of course I don't know if the TV show actually meshes with the comic books, but in the TV show she's working with uh, some government intelligence. She uh, is working with her sister and has this day job that she struggles with the identity more so than Clark Kent does I feel anyway uh, because she's so new to the superhero game um, but that is a character I really want to to delve into a little bit more than uh, probably the eight episodes of her TV show that I watched the uh, the last Marvel character I want to talk about is uh, Miss Marvel Kamala Khan now when I got into comic books in the mid 2000s uh, Carol Danvers was still Miss Marvel and I liked her character on the Avengers. I wasn't, I don't know if she had any solo stuff, but I wasn't reading it at any rate. Uh, but I did like her like within the Avengers setting. And now that she's moved on to Captain Marvel, you know, you'd think that'd be like the segue to make would just be to follow Carol Danvers into her solo feature. But I like the idea of legacy characters and characters taking over the mantle of their predecessor. And especially in this case where the, the superhero, or sorry, the superpower sets seem so different. Like, I really don't know what Kamala Khan can do. All I know is that she can, like, contort her body and, like, expand and create a giant fist for knocking dudes out. Uh, I really don't know much about her, but I find it really intriguing, especially with Kamala Khan's different cultural context. Uh, you know, it's not necessarily just a white girl with blonde hair in New York City. Uh, you know, I think her family is, is immigrants, uh, so that just creates just a different setting than your typical superhero comic book. And the last character that I want to mention at all is, is not necessarily a DC or a Marvel character, however it is a Marvel book, and that is Darth Vader. Uh, they're coming out with, or they just started a new, um, like, origin story for Darth Vader proper, uh, where it picks up right after Revenge of the Sith going forward. Now that is something I really like uh, to check out. I am a bigger fan of the Star Wars prequels than I am of the original trilogy, and that's a completely different video. And if you want to see it, you know, let me know and I'll do it. Um, but I like seeing that time period before Luke Skywalker finds out about anything. Um, I like the the backstory more than that core story 
of Luke Skywalker. Uh, I'm a big fan of Anakin as a character, and again, not to get too deep into it, but that's what I want to see. I want to see characters from the prequels going forward to see how we get to Luke Skywalker finding out what's going on. So those are the five characters that I want to start reading, and I will eventually, probably. Um, Wonder Woman and Supergirl Rebirth are on my list of books to start getting in the trade paperback form. I don't really buy single weekly issues, uh, however, going forward, probably just for events and such like that. Um, but these are some books I want to start picking up eventually. I have a, a long list of characters that I do collect, so we'll see who gets put in uh, into the actual pull list. If you have any suggestions for videos that you want to see, let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you want to check out more, hit the subscribe button because new videos will be coming out every Monday. And with that being said, I will see you next Monday. Same bat time, same bat channel.